What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are playing some Rim Hammer the End Times. I'm going to cut those plants out of there. we got to get this clean and done. I see that guy going around and doing it. I'd say that's it for our crops for the year. Unless these are ready to go now. So we ended up with what decent amount of stuff. Hopefully, I guess it says over here. We have a lot more mouths to feed than we had the year before. So, we also can never keep up <laughs> with meals with this little setup. So, I, here's, a, here's the shitty thing. <laughs> I can move the whole enterprise over here and then have more space, put a third cook table in, so on and so forth. But then I got to move all this stuff too. And... It's not, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it is kind of a friggin' hassle. And we could easily do it because we have roof we can remove here and even no roof in this section. So it's a possibility. I'm just being a putz about it because it seems like a big hassle to move all that storage stuff. Right, but our walls are actually getting repaired at this point, and you're not standing in the toxic buildup. You're at minor already. We might have to start slaughtering animals. We could lock them in here, make a bunch of kibble, and then once they... I think if you slaughter them when they're on a certain level, they immediately rot. Maybe we could try that. Prove that theory. How long has this been going on now? It's only two days. Like We're set for quite a while yet. <laughs> this here Slayer is desiccating pretty fast. Guess he shouldn't have been such an asshole coming over here and attacking us, huh? Okay, well, how many of these shells did we end up making? Those only hold five? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, I guess we're gonna have some extra. I guess also 15 is gonna be sufficient here. Oh, yeah, we made way more than we should have, which is fine, I guess. They'll sit somewhere. Alright, so I guess I'll reinstall this shelf in here. I'm going to put it more near the center and then we're going to reinstall this. Which I'm hesitant to do, but here we go. <laughs> Alright, we want the business side over there somewhere right next to the shells. That's freaking perfect. And then we want a copy of that over here. It doesn't really matter where the business side is because it rotates, right? So let's try that. There, that looks awesome. You put an organ gun in here. They just don't sh spit out enough damage to... Oh, shit. Are we getting attacked? I keep thinking we're getting attacked, but we aren't. All right. So, animals. I don't want to slaughter all the animals, but I think... Let's just try and slaughter one of them. Slaughter. Who's a handler? Call us Kugel. Go slaughter Mare 3. Make sure Mayor 3 isn't pregnant. Not pregnant. Now. So it, it's dead, but it won't spoil. Alright, maybe it's okay. Like, it didn't desiccate right away. Maybe it's if they die when they're outside, maybe? Ugh, I don't freaking know, man. <laughs> we could lock them up, use other animals. Oh, what is all this shit? Why are we putting this out here? We got freaking corn laying out here too? Really? You guys? Really? Bros? Alright, we could probably not put beer in here. Let's put corn in this one. Or something else. Clear all corn. It's going to be chunks of beer every or bottles of beer. And then we'll just put beer here is ah shit these ones can't hold beer oh bloody hell all right i guess we'll build a copy of this shelf over here somewhere it's not even gonna hold all that beer let's get these moved oh shit it popped out there too <laughs> oh yeah okay so the next problem is all this stuff we have laying around. We do have a really good Thunderer rifle that we'd like to get somebody using. 
You go equip that when you get up, Yori. What's wrong with Yori? Oh yeah, we just don't have enough beds. I mean, we do have unowned beds in here. So there's that. <laughs> uh, temperatures in here kind of suck. This okay, so it does shoot way up when they when the geyser blows. All right, there's that weapon. Yeah, we gotta start friggin'. They have a good hammer. It doesn't make sense to give a Slayer a hammer, though, right? These helms must be worn out because people are taking them off. Alright, well, one freaking problem at a time, I guess. <laughs> Minor. 28%. We have to let them go out, but I, at some point there's just not going to be any food for them. And then I guess we'll just have to get more horses later. And it is the time of the... See, like, these guys all died from the... No, these dudes got into a fight. We're not going to try and get those bodies. We could burn these bodies with our stone thrower. I don't know if they'll burn while they're here, but we could move our body pile over here. Right now they're sitting in the water. All right, forget the hauling issues. Well, we'll give the animals one more day outside. We'll see if they're finding food. I think all the plants are going to die, though. Oh, that really sucked. Buddy, you guys are just freaking killing me here. <laughs> um, Let's make... Ah, shit. All right, first off, let's do... Cures. This will rip through a ton of meat. And then... I guess we'll... Just tell him to haul that meat back in with a high priority. Hope he doesn't spoil. And then you. Where are you headed? Nowhere. So there's no food for you. Else you'd maybe go eat it. Can I find one that's hungry? No, no, no. Well, they're finding food, I guess. I don't know what they're eating. They're eating something. <laughs> okay, they're eating the food. Frickin' corn that these Jagoffs are leaving out here. Inspired recruitment. Oh, Rega. Well, well, well. Which one of these guys is better? You're set for recruit. You're set for recruit. You're going to be more difficult. So where's Rega? Wait, what about Molgo? You're set for reduced resistance. I think we're going to try and get some of this guy's organs. Because he... Why didn't we want this fella? Because uh, he didn't do dumb labor. He's not a good fighter. He has medical, animals, plants. I also think we just didn't want any more dwarves. Whatever. I mean, we can try and recruit that guy too. So where's Rega? I guess that would be the dude to try and recruit. I'm a little... Ha I mean, we're feeding them anyways, so we might as well make them work for us, right? Because... Alright, where the hell's Rega? I want this to happen ASAP. There you are. Um, well, he's the hardest. We'll just go see if we can recruit him. Might as well. What is going on? Cornel's drunk as a skunk. <laughs> Cheers to the patrons. Oh, Cornel. Seriously, buddy. He's hammered. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Dirtle Dave, Corneal B, Surreal Beliefs, Joseph and Gaggy are the patrons. You guys are great. It's much appreciated. Okay, yeah. it's. I guess we have to start this. I mean, we also want to do some smoothing over here. And we don't have a lot of blocks. Is nobody doing that? Yeah, so that's the issue. I turned that off. 3, 6, 9, 12. Pug's got beer going. Health. We have fires raging. There's your new recruit. Boom. We have bedrooms for you, but nothing great yet. We're going to need this stuff as well. We have to do a bunch of mining just so we can have more freaking blocks. Are there still blocks around the map? There are. However, going out and getting them is real dangerous. North. Remember that time you cleaned yourself right into your sick bed? Yeah, me too. 
So if we, I guess we might as well mine out what we were talking about then. So the goal here then is another cook room. We, it'd be nice if they didn't have to come through here with the dead animals, but I guess they don't really bleed or anything. So I'm going to plan this out. <laughs> you guys are going to watch me him and haw for a few minutes otherwise. All right, so I think it makes the most sense to move the barn. We can build another structure over here and fill out the rest of the human zone. And then this will be the barn, and this can be like a hangout area or whatever. Oh, he made another fine thunderer rifle. And then that will give everybody a nice space to hang out. We already have this, so we don't, I don't know what we'll even do with this. Maybe we'll parcel it out for bedrooms or something at some point. Corneal is starving. Why is that? Because he's drunk. Well, <laughs> you got yourself in that situation, buddy. So we'll get some of that built, and then as soon as we can, we'll get some roofs put over it, too. In fact, like if we just did this, they'll build as much as they can, and then they won't get toxic buildup. Sadly, they're going to be in the dark. Even the trees are dying from the toxic bullshit. This kind of chaps my ass, but not kind of. I'd say severely, regularly, royally, buffalo forest fully healed. And then we can restrict the animals at this point. So we can just put our beds over here now. And then we will just keep the animals here or outside of the base. And then if we need to... We can put some kibble in here or something, and then they'll be fine. And then that creates less mess all around the base itself. It's because they're not walking through here all the time. So, zone, clear, animals inside, clear, animals. Don't want you bros over here, over here. Don't even come over here. Yeah, you know what? Let's just not even over here. You guys can be outside. Not. Oh, God, was I letting them on the traps? Sure was. <laughs> well, that's just residual from, uh, from before. Okay, yeah, we will allow them then, so animals inside oh shit it's just gonna be in the barn seems to be the best play bam and then animals itself we're gonna allow them through here through here in here in there not over here in fact not on that trap either please <laughs> and then they can go anywhere else they'd like and they could go over here if they want to, I suppose. Because why not? Just not inside. There. Okay, so then I'll solve all that. Cows have joined. And then this gives us a perfect opportunity to send them to animals inside. Slaughter them. <laughs> Hopefully no one goes and slaughters them before they get inside. In fact, I think I'm going to cancel that slaughter job until they get inside. Because we don't need them laying outside dead. We are going to need some lights around here. That's a bit of a problem yet. And the cheapest way to do that is with some of these around, I guess. Must be placed on walls. I got you. Alright, so you can go there. So it'll be like little lamp posts in periodic positions. Boom. It's a waste of material. <laughs> Alright, we'll put one there. One there. Alright, there you go. Now there's an eclipse on. This toxic fallout is not three days in yet. Somebody's making blocks. That's good. So then for over here, 
Why are you there? You're not even in your right zone. Can you not get up? You just been sleeping that long? <laughs> what the hell's going on? So these, this will get him up. Get out of here, you. And then this door cannot be held open anymore. And this, oh yeah, let's make a zone so I don't have to set something like that up later. So stockpile zone. It's gonna be like a kibble trough in the middle. I will copy these section, do these settings, paste them in there. Boom. Okay, then now that can go. I don't think we're gonna have enough block to finish that, but that's all right. So now over here, then, what do we need? First, we need to get three layers of this wall built out here. Let's see how these guys are doing. Like Dave, he's at initial. This bro, though, oh, initial minor. 35% minor, 28%. His fires are still going. How the hell is that? <laughs> Everything's real nice and dark now. No one's built the torches. Uh oh, I thought we were getting raided. We do have a hunter lacking a ranged weapon here. Ah, our new person, in fact, who I never even bothered setting up. We're also working on more dwarven rooms. I should probably... We have all these dwarves sleeping in the human zone, and that irks the shays out of me as well. Let's get that stone all out of there. <laughs> Not sure how that ended up there. And some dressers would be nice. Boom. 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 And we won't be putting any candles in there yet all right meat is this meat frozen it is frozen that's fantastic now bills they're cooking meat cures they're cooking meat cures yeah so we're running out of fine meals again and then we start running out of stone bread maybe we have to make simple meals we just have to get the new cook area finished that's what we have to do How's this raven faring with the co- ooh, 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 no bueno, no bueno. Eh, I want this roof removed. I don't like how it looks like it's all inside, no. Does it even say it's inside? It says 124 unroofed, which is fine. Probably stay warmer if we just roof it all, right? <laughs> Speaking of which, we should probably set up some of our stoves. It's getting cold everywhere. What about in here? 55. Seems to me that the frickin' braziers do a better job than the stoves. I should look at the config on that. Install. Oh, you know what? We can cook at these things, too. Except they generate a bunch of heat, so we don't want to do that. Alright, where to put this one? Not in there. Um, how are these rooms? These are doing well. I mean, it's 12 degrees outside. These are doing well. Maybe that'll be sufficient. Let's see what happens. Make any stone blocks is complete, but we have three more. So let's do some more of that. Actually, I just want these to stay full because... All right, jerks. I hate how they come out, do most of the work, but then stop. It just drives me insane. Okay, so, what do we need? <laughs> Let's do, we need a tiny butcher room. Do we have any doors that are uninstalled? I think I checked for this before and there were none. There's so much shit laying around everywhere. We do have, a, are there any other of these? Yes, we have two. So... You, sir, bio, you're a melee fella. What is it? Raven eggs? We have bloody fertilized raven eggs. Ruined by temperature. Well, that's too bad. I guess you can't really eat those either. You're a melee guy. Back to that. Do we have any dwarven weapons? We had some. They might have been smelted, though. Tell me we're smelting the good dwarven weapons first. 
this is just a catch all and so is this. <laughs> we can figure out what's for the what's this for? Oh, I don't have anything. Well let's put steel in here. Should get some stuff cleaned up. And then So where would the weapons be? Did they get put out here? No. They must have been smelted. I saw hammers and shit over here. That's really chapping my ass. Maybe once we get this stuff cleaned up, we'll figure it out. You know what? Let's go set his work up. So you are a decent doc. We need more docs, that's for sure. You do basic. You're a good handler. Hmm. I'm going to turn you off, Hunt. And yeah, you can mine. Freaking loves the research, doesn't he? We have better researchers, though. So you're not going to get a chance. You can smith. Well, you can craft as well. I'm going to set him up as a crafter. Handler crafter. Doesn't do wardening. There's so many freaking pawns here now. <laughs> Alright, so he still needs a weapon. Molgo. And where will we find... I'm just... I guess we're going to give him this temporary steel mace again. Where's this chair going to go? Let's put that somewhere. Why don't we put it at one of our benches? There. <laughs> what are you guys doing over here? Oh, you're coming out to build that wall, right? It must be. Alright, so they are working on furniture for more dwarves. Our torches, some of them got, our street lights, let's call them. <laughs> some of them were built. And the barn and the little weird hangout room are coming together. So she brought materials, but she didn't actually do any work. Toxic fallout is at 3.4 days. We'll have to do a check on the animals in the evening when they're all in the barn. So, okay, good. We're cooking through all that meat. I wonder if there's any wildlife. There's no wildlife left. It's all dead. So that's great. That's okay, though. We, that's what, what was that? Berries are rotting away. Those berries were brought back from caravan. Shit. So now we're out of meals. So I think we're going to have to suspend our cure. Alright, and then this doesn't need to be suspended. It's at zero. Two people actually playing chess together. A rare sight. Meat cure is done. Good deal. We could start pickling veggies as well, but... Ooh. Did it warm up outside? Yeah, it did. Maybe we had a cold snap on. Alright, so one more layer of granite block there. Now we still got to sort out getting more meals made. Because we have plenty of cooks, right? Let's see. Oh yeah, we have tons of cooks. So, I do have to plan this out. I'm just dragging my feet on it for whatever reason. <laughs> and... Toxic fallout. Is this... So none of... Is this stuff refrigerated? Yeah, okay. Alright, another prisoner. Gonna join us soon. Well, sadly, it's break time, so next time I'll plan out a new cooking and butchering and food storage area over here that will meet the needs of the hold, and then we'll redesign this into bedrooms or something else useful as well. I think we maybe made this room too big. <laughs> we could also do the dwarven workroom here, and then this could be the human workroom. I really like this because we have all of our supplies right here, and uh, you know that's where we're using them, so it makes sense. What is this one for? I should really be naming these. It's for coal. Mm, yeah, we're going to have to go cut wood. Oh, we have a ton of coal. We're still... Are the trees all dying? <laughs> we're also going to have to put some horses down. Like, this guy got up to moderate. Maybe we just send him to the barn right away next time and then slaughter. Oh, speaking of which, these dudes need to get dealt with. Alright, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Give me a like. Consider becoming a patron. Just one freaking dollar a month. Seriously. How much entertainment is this providing? I'll see you guys next time.